Hi everyone, welcome back to Sana's Garden and welcome if you're new here. I hope you all are doing great. Today's video is not involving any plants or planting but is still related to the garden so I thought I should probably share it here on my channel. In this video I am sharing in detail how we built this bird feeding table. I was wanting to have a bird house or a bird feeding table in my garden for a pretty long time now and I really wanted to build one ourselves. So we had this pallet left over from a building work which happened in our garden a couple of months ago. So firstly we cut as many longest pieces as possible from this pallet with a jigsaw. The longest pieces we could cut from the pallet were 18 inches long. Uh, these are 8 pieces of wood which will make for the base of the table. The measurements will be different depending upon the size of the pallets you have and how long you are able to cut from that. I will uh, try and have all the measurements listed in the description box below and also include a rough sketch at the end uh, with the measurements for easier understanding at the end of the video. So please hang around until the end. Now starting on with the building, I laid six pieces of wood side by side and placed two pieces of wood over these in an opposite direction. So when we screw these together, we will have a base of the table. So we screw it from the side we see, this will be the underside of the table. For the roof of the table, I am using these pieces uh, from the fence which we had previously. So I am overlapping these pieces in a way that we have the thicker edge outwards and the thinner edge inwards. You can use any piece of wood with a thickness of about half an inch or so. To create this look, I just uh, used what I had on hand uh, lying around. So. I'm using three pieces of this fence uh, for either side of the each side of the roof and once both the sides are ready and screwed in I will be using this piece of wood to secure these two sides. I would like to mention here that I sanded all the pieces of wood to smooth out any rough surfaces and also clean them thoroughly. I also painted them with the fence paint which I already had on hand. I may change the color in future but right now my priority was to make the bird table a bit weather resistant if you will and I also filled all the holes with the wood filler and sanded them and then again repainted them. I'm using these four pieces of wood from the pallet again for the sides or the supports of the roof of this table. These are about 10 inches long. So I'm just trying to demonstrate how uh, these pieces of wood will go on the upper side of the table. So my husband is here helping me with the actual building. So he will be doing everything involving the power tools. He first drilled pilot holes on both the vertical pieces of wood and then screwed them from the top piece of the wood to the bottom piece of wood. So it's all secure. So each piece is secured with four screws. So that made the table really sturdy. And now coming to the building of the roof of the bird table, I have two pieces overlapping in a way that we have the thicker piece outwards and the thinner side inwards. We drilled pilot holes first on the wood forming the underside of the roof. So we will have a clean look from the top and have the screws from inside. So he first drilled the pilot holes on the inner side and then screwed them together to make it secure. So now we repeat the same with the other side. Now that both the sides of the roof are ready, it's time to join them using this piece of wood. Thank you. 
I'm not sure about the angles or any uh, mathematical stuff here so I hope I'm able to explain myself here at least with the visuals and uh, we are uh, not pros or have a lot of experience with the building stuff so please excuse uh, any of our mistakes so now coming back to the building we drilled some pilot holes uh, from the top piece of this uh, roof into the wood piece below and secured them with the screws after fixing one side of the roof to the center uh, piece of wood it was pretty easy to fix the other side so we're doing the same thing with the other side just drilling the pilot holes into the center uh, joint and then securing it with the screws so now once the roof is ready we are moving on to fixing the sides or the supports for the roof onto the table i'm roughly placing these four pieces of wood onto the table and trying to see how wide the roof actually is and where we need to fix the four pieces so we measured the width of the roof and marked where we uh, wanted the supports to be so this is how we want the roof to sit onto the supports and now first we need to attach the supports onto the table so for this we first drilled uh, two pilot holes for each support and then uh, drilled the screws through them until we could see them onto the upper side of the table and then I held the uh, supports and my husband drilled the screws into the supports until they were very secure now that the supports are fixed onto the table it's time to fix the roof on them for this we first place the roof on the supports and marked the spots where it is sitting on them and then we cut these notches in the wood with a jigsaw i couldn't film this process as it was uh, quite a task for us and was really messy once we cut the notches we place the roof onto the supports so that it sat snug into the notches and then we secured it with the screws after this step it was looking a bit incomplete so we added another piece of this fence wood on both the sides to finish it up and it really gave a very finished look to this bird table and now uh, it's time to fix it onto the wooden post which is already fixed in the ground we have about one and a half feet of this wooden post uh, sitting deep in the ground in concrete so it is very secure we first screwed the base of the table onto the wooden post and then attached the diagonal supports as you can see from below uh, if you have a miter saw or a miter box it will be easier for you to cut we don't have a miter saw or a miter box so we had to measure and assess a couple of times to see where we needed the angles and we just cut them with the jigsaw and yeah the, it worked out fine so that's my bird table all ready and i'm really happy how it turned out and i can't wait to have uh, birds gathering on here and enjoying their food so i hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got some tips from this if you also are wanting to build a bird table or bird house so i have a visitor here already so that's it for this video i will see you in the next one and thanks for watching bye